pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence for the sick, handicapped, departed, and the military personnel of this community. Thank you.
volunteers are here, and they've done a great deal of work um, in, with all these people. I want to say thank you to both of you. Thank you. They do a great job. We're very proud of that. This is your last time, because this Saturday is it. Um, it they were pushing it a little. Okay. We're going to have a big birthday cake. I know. Believe me, I know. Uh, but what I want to tell you, the little things that mean a lot. When a man from Alabama comes in and spends three and a half hours in your building looking at everything that you have, then we're all of you. Thank you. See you Friday. No, see you Saturday afternoon. Thank you, Mary. Uh, Bob Fryer, please. I love the Uh, I, uh, Bob Fryer, I'm sure it's right. Uh, probably four or five years ago, I think I, I made a recommendation with some visual consults and drawings about, uh, placing an additional, painting on additional parking spaces on Bank Street yeah. extension. It's a 45 foot wide street. I understand that they're enjoying that now. So what I was going to suggest to you is you should also, but right now, from what Mike Cromley told me, the, uh, I think that's a distance about 115 feet or something like that. I don't know. But uh, Mike told me that they're planning on putting parallel parking spots there. And I think that there's going to be about six cars in there. Uh, the spaces in the personal parking lots are about nine feet by 18 feet, generally speaking. But and on the parking lot on Station Street, which is ours as well, where the parking spaces are angled on a 45 degree angle, the spaces only increase by one foot. And I'll give you a copy of this you guys can look at. If you would, if you would consider putting those spaces on a 45 degree angle, I think you'd get like 14 cars in there rather than five. And it's something, it's just a matter of dimension. I know that they, uh, there was a, a restriction and you had to get special permission from Mike told me. But I think uh, one of the things to remember, when on a car that's parked at an angle, it, when its uh, front tires hit the uh, curb or whatever it is, you have about a two foot over overhang. And even though the spaces might be 19 feet long, the cars only take up about 15 feet of the space. So <clears throat> the, the drawing rules, but I'm going to give you guys to show you that the extension is only a few feet over, I think, with the parallel. But you can take a look at that. Okay. And the other thing I'm going to ask you, the last time I was here, um, I'm sorry, Joe's not here, I, uh, he was under the impression that that pen dot order from McCormick Taylor didn't involve Telling them to look into a new interchange on I 79 with the West End of Horse Road. And I think I brought down a copy of it that indicated that it very flat in fact does. And I'd like to just recommend to you guys again uh, it, it would be important if this council notifies Penbot that rather than another interchange that will be tour 75% of our consumer voters around the South Bay Virtual Business District, that you ask them to instead spend lesser money widening Washington Pike from the west end of Horse Road down to Bridge Hill. It's easy, but property damage is nowhere near as much, and it would benefit Bridge Hill itself. All right? Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's move on to the meeting. Uh, minutes. Mm -hmm. A motion to borrow council regarding the minutes of the March 14, 2016 regular meeting. As submitted. Uh, Bill Henderson and Joe Klossner. All those in favor? Uh, all those opposed? Mr. President, I'm not voting. I was opposed absent, so. Um, uh, I'm stating my motion. Uh, motion carries. Um, I say all those. Yes, yeah. all those opposed. Oh, that's not right. Okay. Uh, 2016 Pavement Maintenance Program. Bids were advertised and publicly opened on Thursday, April 7, 2016 at 10 a.m. in the Council Chambers for the 2016 Pavement Maintenance Program with the following bid results. Alex Perry, 10% bid bond, $191,280.75. 
Victor Pavey, 10% bid bond, $199,220.10. Next bid is Morgan Excavating, 10% bid bond, 204000 $353.80. El Grande Industries, 10% bid bond, $207,849. 207, Shields Asphalt Paving, 10% bid bond, $209,401. Uh, Protect Asphalt, 10% uh, bid bond, $211,365.40. Young Blood Paving, 10% bid bond, $213,138.50. Uh, Mealy Mealy and Sons, 10% bid bond, $213,920.45. A Polino Construction, 10% bid bond, $232,476.30. Uh, Michael Facciano uh, Contracting, 10% bid bond, $233,276. And T.A. Robinson, 8th Asphalt Paving. 10% bid bond at two hundred thirty-eight thousand three hundred thirty dollars and fifty-five cents. Uh, this is the street included in the two thousand sixteen products are as follows: Harding Street from Lesna to Terminus, fifty percent of the cost to be paid by the Pennsylvania American Water Company. Uh, Forbes Street from Harding Street. To Pulley Street, 50% of the cost to be paid by Pennsylvania American Water Company. And Uni Street from Bar Hill slash Buff Bluff intersection to Terra Street. Uh, funds available for this year's project, 158000 approximately $50,237.50 from the contract price to be paid by Pennsylvania Water Company. I make a motion to accept Alex Paris for the paving project. Bruce no. and Bill Clusey. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, Comcast Cable Franchise Renewal Service. Uh, motion of the Borough Council authorizing the Bridgeville Borough to enter into an agreement with the Cohen Law Group to perform Comcast, Comcast Cable Franchise Renewal Services on behalf of the borough per cost as prescribed in the agreement. Uh, the franchise agreement does not expire until December 2017. Preliminary work, including a cable compliance review, will begin as a portion of the scope of services. <laughs> the borough has entered into a joint agreement with the members of the COG municipalities to engage Cohen to handle the Verizon negotiations. The same program is not available for the Comcast renewal. Uh, Joe Gucci. Second. And Bill. Oh, I'm sorry, Joe Plus. Uh, all those in favor? Uh, Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, current estimate number one Washington Avenue Sanitary Sewer Repair Project. Motion of the Borough Council regarding the renewal of current estimate number one, Washington Avenue Sewer, Cemetery Sewer Repair Project to Roto Rooter in the amount of $100,546.11 for work completed to date. Uh, estimates have been reviewed by engineer sites. So who? Uh, uh, Bruce and Phil Pelosi. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, bill list. Motion of the Borough Council regarding the April 2016 bill list. <coughs> I'm oh, second. And Bill Henderson. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. Payroll. Uh, motion of the Borough Council approving the payrolls of April 15, 22, 29, and May 6, 2016. So moved. Second. Bruce and Joe Cosimo. All those in favor? Uh, all those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, monthly reports. Uh, motion to accept and pay any commissions due the March 2016 real estate tax collector report. So moved. Uh, Joe Ricci and Bruce Gallucci. All those in favor? Uh, all those opposed? Motion carries. Motion to accept February 2016 financial report. So moved. Bruce? Also. Andrew Ruggi. All those in favor? 
Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Motion to accept the March 2016 police report. So moved. Who was that? Bill Henderson and uh, Bill Cruz. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> Motion to accept March 2016 zoning report. So moved. Who was that? Bill Henderson. Sir. And uh, Joe Clausen. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Committee reports. Administration, Bruce. No reports, sir. Uh, finance. Joe? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Parks and Rec. Um, what? Sorry. Can we talk? No, no, no. <laughs> Just going to step back to the, to the uh, uh, finance. Oh. And we had some discussion prior to it, and uh, it was about the banking, uh, the use of the bank. So we received a, another offer of services uh, for the community, and uh, we've done some evaluation of the, the offer. We actually went to our current banking facility who um, counter-offered us um, what we were currently receiving from them. And we feel that uh, the offer that we got from Brentwood Bank is, is going to save the community money. So uh, I'm, I'm prepared to put it in form of a motion to, uh, to move the banking uh, services from their current location to uh, move Brentwood back, but it's open for discussion, obviously. Absolutely. Um, <coughs> is anybody very happy to step up? I don't think that's necessary. Not necessary uh, for the step by, just for everybody's edification. I'm sure Lori will respond to as well. She's been working in this for some time before Mr. Perducci's tenure on the board, and that continued into it. And actually, Mr. Perducci said, Hey, I'm not going to be involved in that money, but on council, she's reviewed proposals with folks from that bank, but not Joe, and you've got the other ones, and you can, and, and obviously right. he's been advised regarding if there is a motion made on it, he'll not participate in this discussion and will recuse himself from voting for the reason of his employment, and having said that, you can right. proceed. Um, right. We, uh, we have been reviewing this uh, and, uh, for the past year, and uh, and when the proposal came, came into the borough, um, I, I supplied it to all the council members and did a fine um, recommendation from um, Mr. Henderson, contact our bank, and uh, let them know what the proposal was and um, give them the opportunity to um, meet the terms uh, that Brentwood Bank was providing for us. And uh, I, we received that information, and the information um, is not uh, proposed as far as Brentwood Bank is offering us more um, more services, um, more interest, um, and just a very simpler way of doing banking. And so, in, in working with um, the banks and, and the finances every day, um, I'm very comfortable as far as your recommendation as far as from the bank goes. Any other comments? I would just echo that, you know, the proposal we received from Redwood, we are going to be getting services that we've been paying for for some time from our current banking yes. institution and uh, free of charge. And right. That company, with the increase in, in uh, uh, interest, interest yeah, I, 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 um, you know, our evaluation is it's a better way to right. banking for Bridgeville. We're, our, our monies are, will always be available available to us at, at a higher interest rate um, without any type of sweep accounts or anything like that on money markets. And uh, it would be, a, like I said, a simple way of banking um, and uh, less charges and uh, I think it would be beneficial to the borough and to the residents. All right. So we need to have a I'll second All right. Bill Henderson and Bruce Calderucci. All those in favor of Switch it over to your right. All right. Aye. Aye. All those opposed? I will stay. Motion carries. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Parts of the rent. Uh, yeah.
not too much. The fellow's been doing a lot of work down Chartier's Park for trying to do something with the parking lot without doing a major reconstruction job. So they've been putting reclaim down, which might help. They've been doing other uh, maintenance things down there, picking up some uh, uh, damage, I guess, some of the little children may have done with some of the dugouts, painting the dugouts, and uh, working on drainage problems. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's about it, really. Uh, last call for the newsletter. If anybody has any think she needs all the info this week. So that's all I have. What's going on in the back of the big field? Is that being, is that going to be cleaned up at all? Or if I had people asking me down at the field. Um, they, yes, they, they did some drainage work back there. And yes, they'll be cleaning that, they'll be cleaning that up. I guess it is working. They're not getting the water onto the field like, like they were. Yeah, so. Right there, there's so. So. How water still laying in there, Lord? You know, was it designed to do that? What? Where they uh, did they put the ditch in back there, basically. You it was designed to lay in, lay, lay in there, but not in the, not, in the, not field. Onto the field. But there is a storm. They put a storm drain in there. Oh, OK. They had to, to Joe, they had to clean up day last weekend and the fields are starting to look nice and lot, lots of money they put into them again uh, for uh, new dirt and, and all of the extra product that needs to be added at the beginning of the year. So they're ready to go and I think they've even started the team off with it. So we're very soon. Uh, public works. Yeah. They've been cleaning up the grip down there busy with the weather changing I think we can get more done, you know? I know it's not changing. Public safety, Bill Henderson. Thanks Mike. We had a couple things. Uh, we had a meeting prior to this meeting with the uh, some representatives from the police department discussing the police pension drop as part of their um, contract negotiation. So we're going to take that into committee, what we learned, and come back with some recommendations uh, to for the next meeting. Um, I do have a motion to make to authorize a handicapped parking space located in front of 1355 Terrace Street. Uh, the resident there, Carl Morton, uh, has spoken with the chief and has demonstrated the appropriate, uh, appropriate medical need as well as a handicapped uh, current placard. Um, and I believe we're, uh, he's within reason to, uh, to get that right. I put that in the form of a motion. Okay. This is a second. No items in the loose. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. All those opposed? And the last thing we discussed, we had a public safety meeting. One of the things that we're currently discussing is they're preparing to open up that uh, road to Main Street and Pasavento from St. Clair. So currently there's no traffic control devices up there. Um, the committee is considering alternatives or what we can do to make that intersection safe. So we're going to continue to keep that in the committee and hopefully come back with something uh, prior to them opening that up. So we're prepared for that. Right. So. Anything else? That's all. Thanks. Thanks, Paul. Mayor's report. The Taste of the Town was a wonderful event. Uh, I want to thank Becky and the library for putting it on. Uh, really enjoyable and a very nice car. Um, now things, things are good. Thank you. Uh, Police Chief. Chad. No report, Council President. Mr. Solicitor. Thank you. I'm not going to add my written report. No. I don't have any report. Our engineer gave the report on the agenda meeting. Fire Chief, Ochoa. Thanks, Mr. President. A couple things. Um, we had the Easter egg hunt on the day before Easter with the help of the borough. Huge success. We end up having to order more eggs because of the amount of kids we had down. We're estimating way over 200 kids. And they were still coming down apparently while the hunt was going on. Um, so 
we're getting another 5,000 eggs. It'll put us up close to 10,000 eggs to have. Freeze their kind of Very good rapport about having them down at the park. A lot of good compliments. That they really like it because it's bigger and it's easier. They're in and out real quick. And, but it's nice. It's nice seeing the kids. Have. So that's one thing. And then um, I missed it because we had an incident that day. And my recommendation to a lot of people and the residents and everybody, if you're going away somewhere or you have family members that are not staying in their house, shut their water off. Um, we had an incident with the house that that day we got called out to that we found out from January to the middle of April that a million gallons of water flowed through this house. It is destroyed. You know, the owner is in a home, the son doesn't live around here, so this is what it can do. It doesn't take long. Um, the house is in very bad shape, which you guys probably know. So, but, yes, and then you guys also have my report. Uh, we've been busy lately. Uh, and running our, our butts off on a bunch of things. And my one last thing. Bob, your comment about the parking in front of Bridgewell Towers, yeah, right. you cannot go angle because it affects us. Unless you're going to take the responsibility of the people in the high rise after we had a fire there. But I will not go for that at the we, angle. We, I authorize the size. I'm just I authorize the way it is, and that's <laughs> because of that. That's designed for us as an emergency for those people. Yeah, I was going to say. So, but I just wanted to make that known. That we cannot do angle up there. That's going to affect us going into that building. I mean, also, I was going to ask, you know, if we could, I mean, obviously, if we could do angle and get extra parking We had that great. years ago, a long time ago, we had that, and I took the trucks up and showed them, but we can get away with the parallel. Okay. What's, Bill, what's the width of the parallel parking spaces? Are they I don't know, but I know the parallel will work. Because I well, parked my you, truck there. If you just check that out, fine. I'm yep. just saying that you, you, get, my you get 14 so. cars in there rather than six. Okay. Make, make sure you're measuring the system. That's fine. Thank you both. <coughs> uh, Dan's not here from Southbridge. Uh, library. Hey. hey. Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mary Blasio. We had a great night in Bridgeville on Saturday night at the Chartier's Room at the Bridgeville Farm Hall. Um, Ray did a great job again, and oh, his stars. wife helped Thank him, you. and we had fun. We at least sold 100 tickets, if not more, and um, I just want you to know that Bridgewell and South Bend are going to be working closely, the boards, to work on a vision and goals for the library community, and um, we are ever conscientious of the funding that we do receive and how important it is to be very conscientious with how we spend the money that we make. Um, I don't know how much we made from the event, but it was wonderful to have the restaurants in the local area, have people from the community, call your community, South Fayette, Upper St. Clair, Crafton, and even some people from the South Side. It was just a great night. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, for a um, there's only a couple things on my report that I'd like to touch on. Um, do you have any questions? The one item um, is, is item two on the first page, the Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority region-wide source reduction study. Um, engineer sites listed with them at night attended a third meeting regarding the proposed region-wide multi-municipal source reduction program and joint demonstration project within the communities. And what this is, is it's part of the consent order, and um, municipalities are required to show a, a uh, uh, demonstration project for source reduction. And what they're proposing to do, the Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority are proposing, is set up each municipality, 83 municipalities, doing their own demonstration project. They're proposing to combine it and, and maybe decide to do one here or here or here or here. Um, I've talked to Joe about it. I've talked to Tom about it. Um, Joe has a few reservations because there is money that's going to have to be spent and it may not be spent in our community. But what they've asked is um, they've requested a non-binding manager level type response 
just containing a possible continued interest in the project. It's not saying we're going to spend any money, um, just that we'd like to move forward and to gather some more information before we would say whether we wanted to do it or not. So that's, that's just what I'm asking the commission to do. I think unless you object, she's you know, for a motion of kind of at a managerial level, we don't need to make a specific authorization to her. They haven't asked for one, so, mm -hmm. so, yeah. so it would just be a non binding letter just stating that we're. It's still a work in progress. But the conception of what we were saying is what, what, what we were approached with by PWSA and whatnot was to um, allow. And they're going to try, we've got a little bit of feedback, but they're, they're, they want to try to do it so that every watershed does have relevant projects in it, but that instead of everybody going duplicative, repetitive, many projects, we can do these model projects. And not everybody has to do them, but then your engineer, this isn't the workout phase, this is a study phase. The, your engineer would, for instance, suppose they did something in this watershed, but it was in another community, and it was kind of the same kind of project that you might want to pitch for your next phase workout. You could use the results and the math and analysis from that group approach to say, hey, that thing we did over there, this will work here because. And that's that's what they're looking to do. We're still waiting for feedback from uh, DEP. I think there's an engineer meeting tomorrow on it. Again, they're just asking for expressions of if you're interested enough to keep exploring. Right. The, the concept of doing this regionally and with PA Water <coughs> Sort Authority, Pittsburgh Water and Sort Authority makes a lot of sense. But can we also continue to look at our community? I think we can demonstrate that if we can reduce inflow and infiltration, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of places right along our own community. Right. And, and that was one of the, you know, when Joe and I had talked, we had said, that, you know, and that's one of the things he wanted to take a look at. Would it be better for us because we can demonstrate that in our community? But um, I don't think they're mutually exclusive. You know, so, no. But, um, you know, or did we want to right. join? Well, the point of this was not to, the, the point of this exercise was to be able to do small test projects mm -hmm. that would give you the data that we are required to get in order to propose the bigger projects at the next phase. Um, the cost of doing that may be minimal to the borough compared to even doing one of those test projects in your, your own community at this phase. It may or may not be. We yeah, don't, we don't know. know. It, it may well be. Yes, it turns out that, hey, for the month that we're being asked to go into the group for the test phase, right. we can actually have a pretty good thing we may be able to do here. Yeah. Or maybe not that one of the regional projects we're not sure. So, you know, right. it, it's just it's just more information gathering at, at these meetings until I think they want to see how many people are involved and then and then make the decision as to where the projects are going to be and then we make the decision from there. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, it's just us saying you know we'll keep coming to the meetings and listening and you know bringing information to you yeah. and then we make the decisions from there. And whether it works and how much. Savings potential that could be depending on how many participants. Yeah. Um, the other item that I had, and I think I touched on it um, at the agenda meeting, was we did have, and Joe did too, we did have a task force uh, meeting. And uh, what we're requesting now is a commitment of funds from uh, everyone involved. And I'm requesting council. Um, give me the authorization to be included in a multi-municipal letter to PennDOT regarding um, uh, the borough earmarking $200,000 from the reserves for this project. And what that would be, what that would that would not just be the bridge, that would be Chartier Street, that would be the, the entire project. Of course, um, Newberry is their marking approximately $5 million. Um, uh, South Bay Township will be their marking much more than that amount. And um, this would be over a multi-year period. Um, as far as we put this money aside toward this project, 
Um, we wouldn't be spending that this year or probably maybe a portion of it next year. The PennDOT wants to know what, what, the, if the municipalities are committed to this project, what the municipalities can contribute to the project um, so that uh, they know that um, you know, we want to make it work and we want to move forward. And that's what they want from us um, at this phase. So I'm requesting that council give me the authorization to be included in that multi-municipal letter to PennDOT before our meeting at the end of the month. I'll make a motion. I'll second it. Sure. Anybody have any comments they want to add? All right. All those in favor? Uh, All right. All those opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. And if anybody has any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Old business. I'm sorry, I have a question. Oh, sure. What was the status on the, the collections? Have you gotten anything of an update? Um, they collected approximately $40,000 after, um, after we spoke. Um, so the donuts are approximately $40,000 down. Now they had a problem, the Pennsylvania American Water Company had a problem with their files. And the billings went out late this month. Usually they go out at the beginning of the month and they just sent them out now. Did they give you a plan on how they're going to continue to keep it down? Well, I had originally told them I wanted anything over $150 spent in as delinquent and then ultimately um, a shut off. Um, they didn't follow that plan. So, um, you know, the, the delinquents that we received were tremendously high. And um, now they're telling me they're, you know, they are going to keep up with it and to follow it, and I'll be monitoring it. And I, I can tell from month to month. Um, you know, I was getting the same amount in or less than they bill each month, and and then there was an increase of forty thousand or whatever. Those were the only things. So if it keeps up like that, that's okay. But if it doesn't, then we have to get involved. Whether we take them to the magistrate or whatever, but it was better last month. The sidewalk at the railroad, mm -hmm. I know that you have done, have been working on trying to get the railroad to fix no, that sidewalk. not the railroad. I actually, I pulled up my email from um, Dean Schmidt who worked with Penn. Um, I met with the railroad and we found that we weren't getting any of that. So I talked with Dean from PennDOT um, and I had saved his email and what he had told me last year, and I did send him a follow-up email today, was after the lane construction uh, paving was finished, there was going to be some handicap curb ramp, um, curb ramp programs throughout mm -hmm. the borough. I know they're going to do some um, over on Dewey Avenue and uh, up in a few other places. And when they do that, he said then they will take on that sidewalk and they will replace it. So I have that email and uh, I sent him one today just saying, you know, I know the lane project is, is mm -hmm. going to be coming into fruition and I just want to make sure that we're still on board as far as replacing the sidewalk over there. So the railroad thought of it is kind of like the railroad's responsibility, but we just can't. What do you think about changing the issue from actually fixing it to paying for it and sending them the cost? Well, if PennDOT is going to fix it, I would This isn't the right, this is the right Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we discussed. There's some thought in another setting, but there's some challenges. Yeah, there are some challenges there. And, um, and I think PennDOT's aware of the challenges and um, <coughs> And the condition is, is so poor, and, um, and that's why they uh, they agreed to. It, it's not existent at this point. Right. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, I, it's just a. Uh, <coughs> I didn't realize it could deteriorate to the point of. Right. There's not really a silo thing, it's just a jerk. Right. Right. Yeah. So, you know, but that's. The, the lane project got pu pushed back. It was actually mm -hmm. supposed to happen last year. So, and, you know, because of all the water line work and that type of thing, but um, they did say after after the paving that they would uh, include it in the accessible um, so we've got a whole, There's a good deal of concrete work with the reconstruction going on. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Um, the other one is uh, the storm sewer, if you're aware of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they're planning on putting that into something. Mm -hmm. okay. New business. I got one thing I forgot to let you know. We've been using the house next door a lot for training and everything. And just like right now, when they leave tonight, North Strabane, they'll hit it right now. They called me and asked if they could use it for training. So it's been being used a lot. Very appreciative of it from you guys. We're getting a lot of training in Good. throughout the summer. And last, I've got some tickets left for the cash bash. So if you need them, please see me. It seems like it's going fast. It's coming up fast. What is it? They said.